What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I wanted to follow up on the video that I had made yesterday regarding 15 cars that can tie or even beat the new C8 Corvette. Um, ever since the launch came out, the three second zero to 60 time or just under that uh, really struck out to me for a car that's gonna start at under $60,000. Now I know to get this under 60 time, they said you have to get the Z51 package, which I suspect it is gonna be five to $7,000. So it puts you right there in the 65, $67,000 range uh, starting. So I also made a list of um, competitors that I think people may cross shop or um, are close to a C8 Corvette. Uh, cars that are you know my, you know pretty much in the price range of the C8 Corvette you know the, the the previous list that I had a lot of these cars were triple quadruple the price um there are very few cars that he could that could uh beat it or even match it at the you know even double the price level so this is a more realistic list of cars that those buyers will actually maybe look at in order to compare um you know uh, buying this car. So without further ado, let's start with number 15 on this list. It is going to be the 2019 Lexus LC 500. It has a 4.4 second 0 to 60 and a starting MSRP of $92,300. Um, I think this is a really good looking car. You know, I have a Lexus ISF, so these uh, Lexus have a, uh, you know, special place in my heart, but um, I, I don't think that, you know, this is going to be one car that somebody's going to really look at if they're looking at performance. It is a grand tour. It's not like a sports car, but it is very nice vehicle, but, um, you know, a lot slower than that Corvette is. Number 14 on that list, the 2020 Lexus RCF. Another Lexus on here, and uh, it has a 4.2 second 0 to 60 with a starting MSRP of $64,000. $750. Um, you know, it's a little bit more sporty than the LC 500, well off the mark on the zero to 60 time compared to this new Corvette. Number 13 on this list is the 2019 Cayman S with a 4.2 second zero to 60 and a starting price of $69,300. And, you know, this is another mid-engine car. That's why I, you know, had this on here. It could actually compete with the, uh, you know, kind of the setup, two-seater, mid-engine. Um, I think what would what will save this car is that it still comes in a manual, unlike the new Corvette, which is just, just a dual-clutch transmission. So, um, you know, it, Caymans are really nice cars, too. I don't know if, how you feel about the 718s having uh, the Turbo 4 but that's you know what it is for the the, the new caymans um, number 12 2019 gt 350 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds and a starting price of fifty nine thousand one hundred forty dollars i think this is you know this is a really uh, cool competitor um i i really like the gt 350s the you know eight what 8250 uh, rpm flat plane v8 in it it's a really good sounding car. Um, great track vehicle. Um, I, I, you know, I think on the track, this and the new Corvette will, you know, have some good, uh, good track battles. But if you're just doing zero to 60 times, this is, you know, a little over a second off that. Next up, number 11, 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT Coupe. Now this is the, I, I picked the base model, um, which is a 3.9 second, zero to 60, and a MSRP of $112,000 and $700. Um, and there, there are a few variants, the GTS, GTC, and then the GTR, but the price just kept climbing all the way up to the, I believe 160,000 range. So I try to keep it to the lower price one. Love this car, this is really a good looking car, has that long hood. Um, but unfortunately in the, um, in the performance department, it's going to be lacking a little bit, even with a starting price of nearly double of that of this C8 Corvette. Number 10 on the list, the 2020 Toyota Supra, 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds and an uh, MSRP of $49,990. This is actually the cheapest car on this list. And I honestly kind of feel bad for this car because, um, you know, when it first came, you know, when it's 
came out, a lot of people had, had been hoping for this MK5 Supra for years. Um, and you know, once everybody started hearing that it was gonna be using the same, uh, or using a BMW motor, same as the Z4, and it had a lot of BMW parts, it actually kind of looks like a BMW uh, on the inside. A lot of people were very turned off by it, could not believe that Toyota kind of sold sold its soul to make this vehicle. It is a it is a cool little car. Um, you know, I'm sure that once people get a hold of it and they start doing some tuning and whatnot, it'll uh, it'll uh, there will be a lot of modding potential for the car. But for um, as a pretty close competitor to this Corvette, I think this Corvette is really going to outdo this Supra. It is, uh, you know, starting at uh, about 10 grand less than the Corvette, so it does have that, and it is out now. So you can actually get one rather than having to wait till, you know, this December or January, so I think that will help it a little bit, but um, I think the Corvette really just uh, took a dump on this Supra, and um, <laughs> that, that poor car, uh, you know, people waited years for it, and then I don't know if it'll live up to the hype. Number nine. 2019 BMW M4 competition, zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, and an MSRP starting at $73,900. Number eight on the list, a 2019 C63S AMG, 3.7 second, zero to 60, and a starting MSRP of $76,450. Another nice sounding uh, twin turbo uh, V8, or I guess bi-turbo V8 on, on this list. Um, I really like the way that those AMGs sound, even if, even though they've gone turbo, I, th I think they sound really good. Um, number seven on the list, we've got a 2019 Audi TT RS, zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, and then starting MSRP of $66,900. These are, you know, really cool cars. People call them baby R8s and, um, you know, stock form, they're pretty potent. You know, three, uh, 3.6 seconds is nothing to sneeze at. You're going to hurt a lot of feelings, but I've seen what uh, these can do when they're modified with, you know, a couple parts. And these, you know, five cylinders are just destroying, you know, twin turbo V10 Lambos on the half mile. It's it, this TTRS and the RS3, it's unbelievable the cars that they're just bullying on, you know, the, at the drag strip and at these uh, drag uh, roll racing events. So that's a really cool car. Number six on the list, 2020 GT500. Now we're starting to get into a 3.5 range and uh, that one uh, for the 60 and starting MSRP of $70,300. I know that's just gonna be coming out soon, and I guess you could kind of call that the competitor, but that is the you know ultimate Mustang, the 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 big granddaddy of them all Mustang, and that is still slower than the base new base Corvette. So um, from what I understand, there's you know some dealer markups on them. It's gonna be kind of a limited car. Number five, the 2020 Jaguar F Type SVR all wheel drive. 3.5 seconds, zero to 60, and a starting price of $123,600. I actually um, had to go with this top of the line F-Type because these actually start like, I think around it was 55 or $60,000 with like a turbo four banger in there. And those zero to 60s were just a complete joke. Even the supercharged uh, six cylinders were, you know, I think in the four seconds, maybe even five, uh, zero to sixties. And it really took um, getting into the supercharged V8s to actually get under four seconds on the zero to 60 time. So twice the price and not even there yet on 60, zero to 60 times with all wheel drive and a supercharged V8. Number four in the list, I did a 2017 Viper. Uh, looked up, got a 3.5 second, zero to 60 and a starting price or MSRP of about $93,000. Um, you know, they don't make the Viper anymore, but there are, are the, there was a the base, there's the GTS, and then there's the ACR, obviously price climbs, but that has a naturally aspirated V10 in it. Um, another great American muscle or, uh, you know, performance car. 
Uh, really does well on the track, but I think they just sold too few of them. Number three on the list, a 2019 uh, Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds and a starting MSRP of $77,945. Those are uh, pretty cool. I, I do like the wide body on the Challengers. And um, yeah, but you're still, you know, four tenths of a second off on the 0 to 60, even with the uh, 797 horsepower supercharged V8 there. Number two on the list, we have a 2019 Camaro ZL1 the baby brother of the Corvette, and uh, with the automatic transmission, it's putting down a 3.4 in the 0 to 60, and starting MSRP is around $66,190. Uh, this is, you know, this uh, Camaros, I think are the, especially the ZL ones are one of the best bang for your buck cars for what you get um, on the market right now. I, you know, the, what, what it could do at the, uh, at the drag strip, what it's doing at road courses, just unbelievable. And then that brings us to number one, the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera S, the 992. We finally got uh, a car that is matching performance of the uh, Z51 package C7, zero to 60 in three seconds flat, but a starting MSRP of $114,550. And that's with the uh, Boxer 6 uh, twin turbo uh, motor in it. So, you know, if anything, you are paying nearly twice the price. And like I said in my previous video, if you've ever been on the Porsche um, website trying to create it, you it'll be very hard to keep it at that, that, that price level, especially for a Carrera S. So, that kind of renews the you know Porsche uh, 911 versus Corvette rivalry, and uh, I'm loving to see what they're going to do you know on, at this next iteration 992 versus the C8. That's always a good uh, battle that I see on um, online or at the track. So we'll see what the Americans can do against the uh, you know Germans. So thank you for watching that video. I hope you uh, kind of got a better idea of the 15 cars that I could think of that. People might cross shop when they're looking at a Corvette. All of these aren't, you know, exactly the sports cars. Some are more grand tours, but I try to I keep it, or yeah, I kept the list to two door, um, two door cars. Some of them had, you know, back seats. Some of them are just two seaters and within the relative price range. I know that with this Corvette, you're going to start, you know, adding some options. It's not going to stay around that, you know, bottom tier price. But I think most of these cars, you know, what between 50,000 and one hundred twenty thousand dollars or so, it keeps it in like in the relative neighborhood. The majority of these are in the you know sixty to eighty ninety thousand dollar range. So I think people would cross shop a lot of these for um, uh, if they are looking at the new Corvette. But just still an amazing time uh, to be alive for car enthusiasts. These Corvettes just unreal what they're able to do. I really hope that once people are able to get a, a hold of them, they can match those numbers or you know the advertised numbers out there so thank you for watching this video and um, we'll uh, I'll, I'll link up the um, previous video that i did yesterday on all of the um, i guess you'd call them the supercars that could actually tie or beat a corvette so thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon